Morning, y'all. And it is the morning. <laughs> I have a little thing, yes. You have a little thing, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you can get in, good sir. <laughs> right, I'm at the Belfry. Morning, Matt. Morning. Um, yesterday's daily vlog question was how important is it for an area to have uh, an event, like a big sporting event? And I've actually seen studies where it makes massive difference to participation numbers. So thinking yeah. about closed house at the moment and having yeah. the event in the UK, I think it's fantastic for golf, fantastic for sport, fantastic for the UK um, to get those kind of events. In areas, which obviously that we can go and watch, not that we've made it this time, unfortunately, but um, I only see positives, really. I remember, did you ever get, you, did you ever get to go to the Edges at St. Melian. No, you've talked about young. going there a few times. I mean, I, I was never, two that, I or three that was years in a row. I started. Possibly. Yeah, it probably was. I was young. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I was a junior. But I mean, it was an opportunity for me to like watch Seve. Yeah. Elazabal win round there. Woos them. Faldo. It was like I just watched them in the Masters and now I'm watching them like right in front of me. It was inspiring as a kid to go and watch. So, yes, only positive. Right, so today's question when. If ever, will the internationals, as in the President Cup's internationals, when will they play the European? When will that happen? Ooh, good question. Like, you can't just have these inter... Like, it's got to open up if it cut. Surely, it just seems wrong. Is it because we're better than the Americans and they're... They're... Uh, <laughs> how are you joking? So comments down below, we're just about to start doing some filming around the Belfry. Comment down there, let me know. Internationals, when will they play the Europeans? When will it become... Let's get... More... <laughs> oh, hit that comment section up. First written down rule, Matt. So many don't get this. Rory in our videos now gets this because I think we've drilled it into him. <laughs> but how long has he been playing off seven and not knowing this? And that's not a dig at Rory because I know lots of golfers lots of are golfers, in the same yeah. um, kind of pattern. Obviously, this is the temp at the Belfry, so it's a little bit more obvious that the water is here because it's such a part of this hole. But let's pretend I hit a tee shot goes right towards these trees and I don't see it down. Can I play a provisional or not from the tee? No, not if you think it's in, gone in the water hazard. So if I was to play a provisional, mm -hmm. what happens? Deeming it lost. Basically by playing the provisional. Yeah. And I fell to this in a tournament once. I didn't know, I was in a big tournament yeah. and yes. I played, I, he didn't let me play the provisional, the guy I played with, because he understood. Yeah. I was like, oh really? I didn't, I, like, I was almost falling out with him. Like, are you? I was different, he let me play and then oh. he said. Really? Yeah, yeah. That's just nasty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who was that? Uh, someone from our county. No way. Yeah, yeah. Who was it? No, I'm not saying. It's not on. <laughs> oh, right, yeah. 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 What? Yeah, what was him? <laughs> no, the, after the downhill. Well, do you want to know the person I played with? Yeah. He told me not to play one. That uh, is not a lie. Really? Yeah. Same person. So if you hit a shot that you think has gone in a hazard, or even if you don't think you've gone in a hazard, and you get up there and it's in a hazard, and you've played a provisional. Your provisional is the one. It's the one in play. And I've played with many golfers from county golfers. Um, I played with Tom. Tom. Woodhouse. Oh yeah. Tom Just Woodhouse. socially. Yeah, but yeah. he's quite competitive and he hit yeah. one up the right. We thought went out of bounds. We played a provisional. Yeah. Um, we got up there and it was a ditch. He was like, oh, I'm in the ditch. It's all right. And I was like, Tom, you've played a provisional though. Yeah. He's like, well, I don't matter because it's a ditch. I didn't know it was here. <laughs> he didn't like it. Yeah, yeah. Um, and it was only a social game. So I said, you know, you play what you like, but you're not playing to the rules there. Yeah. So he played to my rule and just moaned. <laughs> <laughs> That's unlike him. Yeah. <laughs> so if you are hitting towards war hazards, red or yellow, you cannot play a provisional. It's one of those rules, you just have to go up and look for it. It's a rubbish rule. It's like I annoying. It, yeah, I, I don't like it, no. but it is one. Yeah. It's written down. Number two, Matthew. Yep. This one winds me up. Always did when I play. This one. Are you ready? Yeah. You allowed to do that? 
Stop doing that. You're not allowed to do that. Stop doing it. So what I did there, for it, and I used to play in big tournaments where people would do that, and it's like, are we having this conversation? I am not allowed to touch my line. I am not allowed to brush my line with this glove, my hand. I can pick things off it. So if you need to move leaves, which is common, sand, and you're on the putting green, you need to be picking them up. Now, you might watch a course vlog and see us brush the leaf off with our club. Why would we do that in a course vlog? Because we're friends. We don't care. Yeah. I know Matthew isn't touching, testing the green, altering his lie, altering his speed or doing any of that. And if he was, I don't care because I don't think it would make a difference. But it's a rule that is there to protect us all from any kind of cheating like that. I mean, imagine I could just go up to someone else's line and go, oh, I'm just moving that, and I'm moving the grass. You can even yeah, see it yeah. there, changing where it lies. Yeah. You cannot do touch your line. You have to pick it up. Try and get into the habit. I remember as a young golfer, 13, knowing that rule, playing in monthly medals with golfers who would like just moving it, and they were old guys who didn't bend down. I didn't have the guts to say anything, and I didn't care, but it, I got into the habit always using my hands to pick them off. Just on a side note actually, just made me think of the other one. You ever have that one? So you're playing with a partner. Where am I hitting it? Can you do yeah, it there? Oh, the what line. are you doing? Yeah. What are you doing? Yes. You are you can't touch. <laughs> and your line extends. This is the other one which you so in theory, I can't move that leaf by your foot yeah with my putter because the line extends past the hole yeah it's continuous and pass so you normally miss them as well so please stop touching lines <laughs> don't don't be cheeky now that you've old a few putts <laughs> that's gone matt how's your going down all right still going but yeah it's, it's nice huh? yeah bacon and egg War hazards, written down rule number three, red and yellow stakes, Matthew. Yes. So I'm gonna use my wheel here, look. So I'm playing from around my crutch area <laughs> to the top of the wheel. Yeah. Okay? And the gray here is a water hazard, red stakes. Yes. So I hit my ball and it goes into the red stakes. I see it crossed by this speaker button here. Lovely. What options do I have? Two club lengths, point of entry. So two club lengths coming back this way, no nearer the hole. Yes. Other options? Replay it from where you just were. Good. It's two. Any other options? Um, don't think there are on red. Yeah, you can play it as it lies. Oh, yeah. Obviously, because you can, you just wouldn't be out of ground. Yeah, club. yeah, sorry, I thought we were talking drops. You can go the other side and keep that point in line as well. Do you know that one? So Isn't if the that pin, yellow? No, it's red as well. So if the pin, if the pin was here, where my finger is pointing here, you go in here, and let's say there was a bush near your two club lamps, you could go the other side, yeah. keeping that two club lamps in line. Yeah. And you could go two club lamps, I think, on that side as well. There's five options, I think. Don't confide. I won't. Oh, that one. Let's post comments down below. But you can definitely go keep that point and go as far back as you want as well yeah. on the other side. That's the one people never realise they can do. And at certain angles, that can really help. Yeah. What about yellow then? So I'm going again from around my crotch area up to the top. <laughs> <laughs> up to the top here. Yeah. And this logo here, this Ferrari logo. Yeah. Yeah. Decent. An F. Solid. Uh, Ferrari. Um, is a lake. Yellow. Yeah. And I've gone pff, right in there. So R Box. Rory's gone in yeah. there. <laughs> what can I do? Uh, again, play it from the same place. To play it as I lie, as yeah. it lies. And you drop in line with point and entry and in line with a pin. Yeah, or I could go back and do the shot again. Yeah, that's what I said the first one. Sorry. So you could, yeah, do the shot again. Yeah. You can drop, keeping that point and the flag in line and go back as far as you like. Yeah. Could you go beyond from where you hit your original shot? No one ever 
a word. No. <laughs> but can you? Um, I would think so. I think you can. Yeah, I, I don't know. So, yeah. I don't see how you would ever gain like, no. that apart from like if you if Rory in... hit a wedge in there, you might want to go back to hit a nine if there was a further back tee yeah, yeah. in line. Yeah. Or as a tree you've hit over a tree and not reached, and yeah. you need more club to get there or something. Like and that. again, you could play it as it lies as well. Yeah. But lots of people I see getting those wrong, and what I mean by getting it wrong is they don't take advantage of the rules. It's always, if you know the rules to a certain level, you can actually take advantage of some... I mean, we had one today when we filmed, which they'll see, where I was able to drop it into a position where I could putt. Yeah. Um, with my two club lengths. So it actually didn't, the drop wasn't that punishing because I wasn't having to kind of recross a wall hazard because of the angle I came in. Yes. So I think just knowing the rules allow you to make better decisions on your next shot and then probably score a bit better. I know through my time of playing, I've used the rules on a number of occasions where it's, it's allowed me to get away with things. Yeah, totally. What's the rule? How do you get out of this water hazard here? Generally, you turn around and go to the airport. Go back to like Bristol, or go yeah. like to live in London, yeah. and then get on a plane. Yeah. So uh, get, getting I... on plane is good then. Yeah. <laughs> Provisional balls, Matthew. Provisional. You should just have a sign. This is a uh, Callaway 1. <laughs> Previous was a Callaway 2. <laughs> if you just had a sign, do you reckon that would count? Or do you have to verbally state it? I don't know what the rule is, actually. Yeah. I know you have to make it clear that it's a provisional. Yeah, that would make it pretty clear, I reckon. <laughs> just holding up yeah. like a Manuel sign. <laughs> Tells your caddy to flip it on yeah. your back. Yeah. A bit of provisional counting. <laughs> So my big bugbear when I used to play, it used to drive me mental, is people asking should they play a provisional, I used to think if you're asking, why are you not playing? Yeah. Who wants to have the walk of shame, and most of the tournaments I used to play in weren't exactly fast moving, so the walk of shame just killed it even more. Yeah, yeah. Unless I, you go back to our previous point before about water hazards then. Then it's no option. Yeah. But out of bounds, bushes, trees, trees, not knowing what's over that hill, fields, yeah, <laughs> anywhere else Ray hits Horse. it. <laughs> I've stopped. <laughs> Greenkeeper's sheds, Marjorie's <laughs> Just play them. I mean, I've, I remember playing as an amateur and people were so reluctant to play a provisional. Oh, yeah. is that one all right? Well, I'm not sure, and I can't give you advice, so I can't really be saying. You should play a provisional, so I'm just like, oh, I'm not sure. Yeah. Should I play a provisional? It's up to you. Um, but yes, <laughs> just play it. And like, you can play your provisional up, up to it. To so just point, keep whacking yeah. it and just, you know, have a practice. Yeah. Big Buzzer made a good point once. What did he call it? Like, a provisional was just another go again, it right or something. He <laughs> said, like, this isn't a provisional. It's like, like it. just get that swing out of the way as well. <laughs> Give yourself, like, some more positive thoughts to hit another good one yeah, instead. Just, don't just, be nervous about yeah, playing yeah. another ball and pick it up. You find it, pick it up, brilliant. Yeah. Just play one because walking back. How many times can you remember having to walk back in tournaments? Many? Many, no, I, I would do it if I was going to lose a ball. I can I remember be one, like, because we lost it in a bunker, yeah. where we didn't just went in a bunker, par three, in a bunker, we're there and we just can't find it, and yeah. it's a big tournament I was yeah. in, I had, to, I had to walk back, I started walking back and someone found it, but like, that's the only time I'm walking back, it's like because when, it's like, gone, and it shouldn't have gone. When you walk back and you do that walk of shame thing, Precious you're on. like, Oh, I don't want to do that. Because I've only brought one yeah. ball. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My bag's now all the way up there. Yeah. This could get, and I don't want to end up this three could get days. messy. <laughs> <laughs> Just play provision. Yeah. More balls hit.
Eldest has a competition at the weekend. So the last rule, which isn't written down, so I'm breaking the rules of my own video really, but it's such an important rule. If any of the rules we've talked about today are wrong, we've got them slightly wrong, what would happen when we play is the people we play with would stop us, would come over and help us. That's what happens with good golfing communities. They kind of try and help each other with the rules. So whenever I'm playing, I always invite the guy or girl over Look, I'm gonna take a drop here, can you come and help? Or I'm gonna take a drop here, is that okay? Like if it's a basic casual water, free drop, and they kind of see me from across the fairway. I won't ever drop without them knowing. I'm always gonna announce if I'm gonna pick that ball up and move it and tell them why. So if we get any of the rules today wrong, you think we got it wrong, post comments down below, but do it in a tone that doesn't sound aggressive and contradicting and or, or um, kind of like telly offy Because the biggest problem with the rules I find is that people tend to get a little bit hit the risk. Do you know what I mean? And then it becomes a taboo, and it becomes a taboo, and no one wants to talk about it, and then people don't get better, and they're scared of getting it wrong. I see it at golf club after golf club. Oh, John didn't do that, right? Maybe John didn't know. Like, maybe, like, because the word cheating golf obviously is massive because we all look after our own score. So that's my last rule. Just respect the people you're playing with when it comes to the rules and help them. And if you see them doing something wrong, like me and Coach were talking about earlier, like go and help them, offer a polite opinion. And if they get a bit funny about it, that's fine, leave them to it as long as you've done your, your bit. That one's the most important one for me. And it isn't written down. It should have been in the unwritten rules, but it should be written down, I think. Right, let's go and get tea, shall we, gang? Taxi. <laughs> well, that was yummy. I love your haircut. See you all on Monday. Have a good weekend. I'm very tired now. So am I. I, I need to go to bed now. I'm the tiredest. I'm the tiredest. No. I'm fine.